Today we're going to be talking about the Comica CVM VS08 mic. Uh, hey YouTube, how's it going? Chris at Island Tech. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, here in Island Tech, we talk about technology, use the technology, and share my experiences with you. Today we're going to be talking about the Comica CVM VS08 mic. Uh, basically, this is a Rode competitor. I'm not paid by any of these companies that I mentioned today. I, the reason why I'm bringing you this uh, this information today is just because um, I'm always looking to improve my videos. You know that audio is 50% of the experience. If you have really crappy audio, then as great as the visuals are, most people won't watch the video. So that's why I was looking for an alternative to the Rode the Rode Me Mini Mic, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, today I'm just gonna be taking it off and on. Let's get to the testing right now. Uh, and today is just gonna be solely based on just a vlogging style. So I'll be holding the camera in front of me, about arm's length away. And then, again, this is the mic right here. It has the windscreen on. I will always have some type of windscreen on it. Just for starters, we're gonna start here. One, two, three. This is, I'm filming with the Samsung Galaxy S4 today. I placed the mic on here. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Um, I'm in my kitchen, so there's a wall right behind me, no sound editing here. There's a fridge on the left of me, I don't know if you were able to pick that up earlier. Um, now it should be more directional. For this particular camera, the mic jack is here, and the camera is also here. I'll, I'll cover it. Uh, so it's right here, the camera is also right here. So I know if I put in the dead cat, it'll definitely show up. This is the dead cat guys, this is what will go onto the mic instead of um, this thing right here, this is the regular windscreen. Okay, so this is with the dead cat on. Uh, if your microphone is sitting on the same side as your camera, well, you're gonna run into some issues because you want this to be as fluffy as possible. Uh, might not be the best phone, but at least it'll demonstrate the purposes. So do keep this in mind. Um, I'm at my outside. Uh, this is outside. Uh, it's a little bit windy right now, and this is without the mic. Just to talk story, see how it goes. Okay, so I put the mic back on just to do a quick test before I head out and do my errands. Um, yeah, how do I sound? Just about to drive off, but you're probably wondering why I'm using my cell phone to start with. And I'm looking for options to be light, still produce good quality. All my shots today will be based on just me being about arm's length away. Let's try it again without it. Uh, testing, testing, one, two, three, four. This is with this. Uh, this is without the Kamaka mic right now. Yeah, so again, testing, this is without the mic. It's kind of drizzling right now. Right now, the mic is on. I want to see how good it picks up. Uh, I'm testing out uh, road noise. We're just driving down the road here. Every time I take it off and on, I do want to let you guys know that I do take off. I do stop on the side of the road to pull it off. All right, so now I just took off the mic and um, Going still down the same road, uh, a lot of road noise. Um, I'm assuming that's what's being picked up. Uh, I've got some errands to run. So how do I sound? Hey guys, what uh, better place to try film this is when with my car. I'm on the side of the road. Um, like I said, Hilo isn't that busy, but I think there's a car coming. But anyways, um, this is without the mic. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Uh, let me know. What to, uh, I'm gonna have to review the few footage what it's picking up. Okay, so now this is with the mic. Um, still same area. I'm right next to my car. Um, there's a busy sidewalk here and there's some construction going on or uh, some rumbling out in the outer, out over there. So uh, here's another test and uh, let's go to the next location. Barely, uh, the mic barely clips on. So if I uh, tap it just a little bit, it'll, um, it won't pop out of the audio jack, but it definitely will move around. Like right now it's kind of pointing down. Um, I find myself adjusting that a lot, so maybe if I put on a case, it'll be a little bit more sturdier, like on my Moto G4, on my Moto G5 Plus. Okay, this is with the mic off again. Um, so today we're gonna be. Um, I think I'm gonna take you guys to Breakwater. This is the um, entrance to Shoreline Access. This is Bayfront. We're almost there. I have the mic on. Alright, so we, we just got here. There's a harbor on the left side where pretty much all the um, stuff occurs. I put the mic on. I kind of wish I brought the, um, the wind muff. And I'm just taking my sweet time here because looks like there are some big waves. So I just got to be watch out for that. Again, I'm not going to be walking all the way to the end or hiking. Um, as you can see, I'm in 
slippers. The whole intent of this was just to test out the mic. Uh, I do want to know how good this windscreen actually is. Harbor is that way, the ocean is this way. So um, there's lots of stuff going on that way. The mic is on, um, and wind is coming from this way as well. So I wish, again, I wish I brought the windscreen. How is it sounding? This is lovely. Let me do a quick 360. Again, um, harbor is right here. A lot of stuff moving around here, and then the ocean is that way. So this is testing with the windscreen on. Okay, so I just took out the wing, the windscreen. Oh, I'm still walking around, so let's test it out again. The ocean is on that side. Wow, it's blowing. Wind is coming this way, and here's the harbor. Let's turn around. Now this is the harbor. That's the harbor on that side. Here's the uh, ocean. How's it sounding? The great thing about this shotgun mic is that pretty much it's a directional mic. So it's pointing at me right now. I'm facing towards, uh, as you can see, the, um, what do you call that? The forklift over there is uh, carrying containers, uh, putting it on top of the ship. Uh, I'm gonna flip the mic over really quick. All right, so again, ha, I, I, this is the first time I'm noticing. I flipped the mic over, and this is the, right here is the actual mic itself. The camera is right here. So I should be pick, I, I don't know how I sound. It should sound like that I'm yelling. Or I'm muffled because it is a directional mic. It's pointing on the opposite side. Plus, wind is coming from behind me. If I face this way, I'm sure we're gonna get a bunch of wind noise. Um... Quick tip. See this? That means water splashes there. Water splashes there. So if there's a big wave, stay off this rock. You can see all the rest of the rocks are dry. You can see more. Oh, I just got splashed. So yeah, let's keep moving. Have I'm talking about it goes to roughly about right over there. All right, guys. So with that being said, I think this concludes the test. I'm gonna review the footage at home, um, and before I get wiped out by waves, I'm gonna head out. So I'll see you guys at home. I'm gonna review the footage, see how I like the mic, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys at home. See you. So I just got back from our little excursion this morning. I wanted to leave you guys three pros and cons about this particular mic. I feel it wasn't made for skinny phones. The mic itself can wobble just a little bit. Doesn't seem to secure it as tight, especially uh, if your phone is one side thicker than the other. I feel like I have to put an extra rubber band. Number two, eventually I think over time if you keep taking it off and on, the plastic piece the plastic grommet piece will wear out and number three as with all cell phones uh, they're all designed different so if your phone is on the same if your mic is on the same side as your camera if you put the dead muff in then or the dead cat in it will definitely show up three things i do like about this mic is that it's it's lightweight and good quality all aluminum there's very little plastic on there number two there's no extra battery that you need it just 
plugs in directly to your phone. And number three, uh, most of all, I think for its price point, it does improve the audio quality. One thing I noticed with this mic is that if you're listening on the cell phone itself, I didn't hear any major difference. But definitely when post-processing on the computer, I heard a difference. There is a slight increase in volume, which is great. And it seemed to muffle out the exterior sounds. What it didn't do so hot is, uh, and that's partially my fault, is that it didn't handle wind as well. I do have the wind muff on there. I didn't bring out the furry cat, the dead cat. Itself as a compact unit, you know, vlogging with your phone. I think it works really well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like me getting out there, uh, leave a comment. I'd like to know if you guys would like to see a little bit more of Hawaii. This is kind of what I want to do, test stuff out. Hopefully you guys like that. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing uh, to follow the latest in Island Tech. I do thank you guys for the support and continue to tune in and see you guys next time. Mahalo plenty. Mm -hmm.